All right, here we have our three bed, two bath, townhouse style home. This is one of the entrances or possible entrances, which is coming through the garage and the work workshop area. Uh, we'll just take a peek outside real quick. This uh, is probably about uh, 18 to 20 foot deep and you can come in, you can open yourself up to the outside here or go into your attached garage, which is a one car garage, which got to get cleaned out obviously. It's got some leaves, but it's, uh, it's part of a uh, three unit building with a ton of land. We do the lawn and the snow plowing. Okay, uh, so your, your work shed in there would be your, your storage area. These two sheds out here are for the other two tenants. There's a big staircase stairway that is uh, between the two, the front and the rear units. There's two in the front, upper and lower, which are big. This is probably about, I'm saying maybe about 1,100 square foot, the one that we're gonna go into here. So uh, it's got two bay windows. This one here overlooks the driveway. Mailbox is here. Uh, your park, your primary parking will be here or in the garage. Okay, there's a uh, easement back there that the town maintains, which is about another three, four hundred foot wide that goes the full length of the whole neighborhood. So, we've got a ton of land for kids to play, deep use school system. Uh, we are going to be eventually siding the place. So, this is the primary entrance. Cleaners are doing some of their cleaning. You go to the right as you come in, we can go down to the basement. The basement is a nice, tall, dry private basement. Nobody else can get in here except you. <clears throat> As you can see, it's got uh, some storage shelves in there. Now, the setup in one of the bedrooms or bathrooms for stackable laundry, people that don't have stackable laundry put their dryer down here and a washer upstairs, which honestly, I'd get a stackable unit if you don't, if you're looking for one. So, Nice, tall, eight-foot basement. <clears throat> and here's the living area. Living area. Take your shoes off. Hardwood floors. Or, I'm sorry, kitchen area. Hardwood floors with uh, all newly painted cabinets, dishwasher, sink, stove. We do not have a fridge here. Okay. Um... <sighs> Off the side of the kitchen, we've got either a dining room or your third bedroom. Uh, you, people have used this for a bedroom, so we're actually promoting as a, as a three bedroom. And there's a closet space underneath the stairs here. And across from that is a bathroom. One of the bathrooms, okay. You got the full tub. If you need to soak, little linen closet right behind the tub. And then here's the living room area. We just went around a big circle through the stairs, which has the loft that overlooks the living room. And off to the side here, we've got a giant pantry. Big old open pantry area in here, which is really unique. Um, you need an ironing board? We got you an ironing board. Okay, cool. And We've got the other bathroom, which is a stand-up shower, and your stacked units would go here. Okay, and then this, uh, you've got your own closet area here. All right, and then again, here's our entrance, if you wanted to go into the, shed, the garage or the shed. Okay, there used to be a pellet stove here that we took out, so we just left the, the what do you call it there, uh, the stand there, so. Eventually, if we ever replace the carpet, that will go, obviously. So the painters are all buttoned up. The cleaners are finishing up. Got a little couple of screws we got to tighten up on here. Uh, carpet cleaning was done three days ago, two days ago. And here's the stairs leading up to the loft. A lot of people use this loft also. Have, I, they've actually used that dining room downstairs and used this loft for their master bedroom, believe it or not big open closet and then they put their kids in there <clears throat> skylights ceiling fans oh here's the uh, here's the view out the back that overlooks the garage and 
the, the back 40 as they call it. It's cold outside today. It's all boiler heat, um, but it's well insulated. So I've been here in the summer, in the dog days of summer, and this place really doesn't get hot. It's pretty nice. Um, I mean, in the summer right now, it's nice and warm, nice and toasty. Here's a smaller bedroom, which is about uh, 11 by 11. It doesn't have a closet in the bedroom. It's got a small, uh, just a closed closet in here. Um, just shelving. All right. And then there's two closets in this bedroom here. Uh, we just put a new ceiling in here. Dual windows. There's a closet here that is... Uh, it's <clears throat> basically over top of the stairs, so... Uh, you know, you can hang, depending on your, you know, you just set yourself up to where you're, you're using stuff as you need it. And then there's another closet off over here. Okay, so either they can share this, depending on uh, how well your, your kids get along. Okay. Uh, so that's what we have here. It's a real nice little place, efficient to run. Uh, it's not little, it's big. Like I said, it's about uh, 11 to 1200 square foot. And uh, plenty of room to roam. Good school system. And uh, we're looking for hopefully somebody for a long stay. Okay. This wouldn't be a bad little little place to wake up to every morning. Oh, it does have uh, also sliding glass door with the concrete patio, private concrete patio out here. That. Uh, it's right in through here. Obviously, it's filled with snow. But <clears throat> we uh, we are toying around with the idea of putting in a privacy fence across here, too. So that uh, that might just happen this year. We're not positive. We do have this on schedule to be recited. Um, whether that happens this year or not, that's yet to be seen because we have been busy at the construction, and it's been uh, the last three years have been phenomenal. So... Uh, and the people that were here were here for about uh, probably about three to four years. They ended up buying a house. The ones before that ended up, uh, they were here for about three to four years. So everybody loves it. Neighbors are good. The street's quiet. You're pretty close to everything. Uh, it's on Olmstead, which is just off a of transit road, not far from Antoinette Suites, halfway down. Give us a call.